Oh God, my hair. It is Saturday. My last day in Legos. I already went down and picked up my bus ticket. I leave at three o'clock. And now I'm back at the spot that we were at yesterday. The only difference is I brought my baby. Where is it? Ah! <laughs> The drone. The drone is here. I also might have to buy a new shirt because I'm totally out of laundry, which I'm sure you guys could have noticed if you've watched every video now because I've been in the same shirts a few times. So, too lazy to do laundry. I don't know. I might just buy a shirt and wear that for the rest of the day, especially after this bike ride. The shirt's gonna be toast, man. I already ruined one. Ah, oh, fuck my drone. Oops. Anyways, I ruined one on the boat cruise. And then I ruined one just kayaking in the salt water. And I ruined a pair of shorts. And I lost two plugs, two European plugs for my camera. And I lost a pair of sunglasses. So, so far the trip's been fairly successful. I'd say it could have gone a lot worse. I mean, I still have tonight. I've made it. I'm ready. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna fly it right off the cliff. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. That's it for the glorious drone flight. How good was it? Come on, come on. At least leave a comment or something because it was pretty It was pretty awesome to fly. I'm gonna go buy a new shirt and shower and get around and catch my bus. I made it. I've got 10 minutes to spare. Made it to the bus station. Look at all those beautiful buses. Most of them. Hopefully I'm not on the small one. I'm about to load up at three o'clock and then bus all the way to Lisbon. It's about a four hour bus ride, four plus hour bus ride. I've heard good things about the buses, so I'm not really too worried. Hopefully they have some outlets so I can work on some videos and the website and stuff. Super, super bummed to be leaving Legos. I guess I'm pretty excited for Lisbon too. Legos was just next level, like I've said a million times. All right, let's load the bus, let's get out of here. On the bus there's an outlet right behind me but it doesn't work so that's pretty frustrating on the bright side the bus is completely empty almost it's probably two four six eight people it's a pretty nice bus our bus driver just stopped to pick up oranges <laughs> we've been driving for two hours now and we've made it to the countryside of portugal Definitely gonna be a lot longer than four hours because there's a massive traffic line. There's, this is like the longest traffic jam I've seen in a while. <laughs> Lisbon looks pretty good so far. I've made it. I've made it to Lisbon. I've checked in to G-Spot Hostel. It's sweet, the hostel's really good, but I've got an early flight to catch, so we'll see what happens tonight. You can hear that music pumping. <laughs> we've got tunes, we've got alarms. Hot damn, Lisbon knows how to party. I got people offering me drugs already. Woo! Just kidding, I can't do any of that shit. Check out this little cafe party. That's pretty badass. D 
DJs back to back across the streets from each other at just little cafes. Yo, Lisbon, Lisbon is pretty good so far. I love the vibe. Little sketchy vibe, like a little dirtier, sketchy, grungier vibe, but I love that in cities, man. So this is awesome. I'm stoked. I gotta go out tonight. It's gonna be legendary. I decided after like three sips of sangria and a big meal, I was like, I am still exhausted and I have a really early morning flight tomorrow and then I have work, so if I miss that flight, I'm screwed. I'm gonna go check out, they said, and I cool, I don't know how true it is. They said this section that I'm about to go to is the most condensed, they have the most condensed pubs in the world. So I guess there's like over 200 pubs in like a really small area. So I'm gonna go check that out and have a beer and we'll see how that is. I'm totally just people watching right now. It's kind of fun, just walking around with my massive thing of water, just seeing what everybody's up to. So far it seems like a really cool place though. I'm so happy I made it up to this place. You can see the castle over there, hard rocks down there, and it's just an absolutely unreal lookout point and it's such a nice night for it. I'm just exhausted. Although the bar crawl would probably be a really, really good time, and the bars up there look sick. The problem with like meeting people when you're all alone is that you have to be like your best self. You have to put like your best self forward or else it's kind of harder to click. And when you come here with like your best mates and you're all like really good friends, you can kind of be like a lazy friend where you don't really have to put like your best foot forward. You can just kind of go and hang out and you're gonna have friends and you're gonna have people to talk to. But when you're all alone, you always present yourself in a good way so people will talk to you and be a good time. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, what the fowler? Dude, what are you doing here? That was crazy. That was a guy I work with. No idea he was here. So random, but definitely really cool. All right, I'm getting ready for bed. I will see you guys tomorrow for my flight. Peace. Wow. And that just looks like I'm gonna just ride off a cliff.